Welcome to LNP Renewable System Editor. Today we are going to discuss marine cables basics. Okay, in our ships, okay, we are using different varieties of cables. So we are going to have a brief intro regarding the different sort of cables that we are going to use in the marine industry, especially in the ships. So what are the things we are going to discuss today in this part? So what are the different type of cables that we are using in the marine and what is the specification that we need to consider when we are buying a cable for a marine application how a marine cables looks like and what are the cables which are used on onboard ship how it looks like and what are those cables it can be power cable it can be a control cable it can be ethernet coaxial so there are so many varieties so we are going to look into it and how to read the marine cable type and its symbols So most probably when we discuss regarding the marine cables uh, based on its specification and the type of application that the type of power and the control signal or specifically or for the instrumentation purpose we are using different varieties okay based on the conditions like temperature vibration corrosive material uh, salt water so all these things it has to withstand so it means it also need to uh, meet the international standards. So what are the specifications we should consider before buying an electric cable for a marine application? First and the foremost thing is that insulation. We need to choose the right insulation because it, it should have a capability to withstand maximum temperature. Okay, because it has a possibility to get exposed to chemicals, oils. Okay, so for example, if you're going for a PVC that is polyvinyl chloride, okay, it has a longer life okay, it has a longer life for a smaller applications but when you go for a xlpe that is cross-linked polyethylene it is used for insulation most importantly because it is mostly used for high voltage applications and also it has a longer life when compared to normal pvc uh, uh, cables okay next important thing is that conductors because there are so many conductors conductors made up of tint is available in the market especially for the cables bare copper plated bronze aluminium like that so many varieties are available okay we need to choose the standard one based on the current rating okay next is the cross section area because as we know earlier okay larger cross section area results in the low resistance per foot so when the type of wire is the same okay so most importantly we used to express in uh, mm square or in inches okay say for example if you have a cross-sectional area details based on the current rating so we have a copper and we have aluminium okay uh, so if it's a copper cable okay um, even in a single square mm it has a capacity to withstand 17 amps rating but when you're going for aluminium we can use the one square mm because four square mm is minimum required if it has to withstand a current capacity of 16 amps like this based on the cable size increases the current rating also we can increase next and foremost important thing is that a voltage rating because uh, when the maximum voltage happen it has the cap capability to withstand that is very much important because there are so many possibilities to happen in a ship there is a possibility for fire there is a possibility for short circuit to happen so we need to choose the right cable with a rated voltage okay next is the temperature rating temperature rating is very much important because even for our normal domestic application we used to choose a cable which has to withstand around 75 degrees celsius but when you're going for a marine application the temperature rating may differ based on the place where we are using the cable say for example if you're going to use in the place where the temperature is very high if say for example there are certain places in the ship where the temperature might be more than 105 degrees celsius in such cases we need to choose the cable for that applications so this is the basic structure of a marine cable in a marine cable basically we need to have a conductor it should have an insulation then a fillers then sheath armor and outer sheath so there are so many type of cables which are used in the onboard ships first when we look into the power cable okay so it, its main important use is to transmit the electric power okay most importantly it is used in power distribution like feeder panels, starter panels. In those places, we used to use this power cable. So, most importantly, we need to look into the current carrying capacity voltage. Most importantly, when you are going for a power cable. Next is the control cable. So, mostly these are flexible copper or aluminium single core PVC cables. 
mostly it is used for controlling circuits and lighting accessories okay it will have a single conductor or the multi wire conductors also next and foremost thing application is the coaxial cables so so this coaxial cable will have a conductor then we have a dielectric then we have a conducting shield then we have a outer jacket mostly it is used for high speed application like antennas uh, trans okay trans receivers uh, radars uh, satellite phones for those application we are using the coaxial cables next if you are going for ethernet cable okay we have so many varieties available in the market mostly it is for computer modem routers for a high speed digital data transmission we are going for this ethernet cables there are so many classification cat5 cat5 v cat6 cat6 a cat7 okay most importantly with the standard rj45 connectors we used to use at the both ends mostly it is used for computers routers printers plcs radars and other navigation equipments so when you are going for instrumentation cables it will have a multiple conductors Okay, because uh, where if your application is the extra low voltage system, that is where the electrical energy is very low. Say for example, for the monitoring or controlling electrical signals, we might be using this instrumentation mostly for the PLC applications. Okay, for the instruments, uh, uh, you know, current transmission for 4 to 20 milliamps or 0 to 10 volt transmissions for the serial communication for the fire detectors and the sensors, we used to use these instrumentation cables in the onboard ships. Okay, when you are going for a uh, ribbon cables it might be in the flat this is how it looks like mostly it is used for the internal peripherals or for um, say for example if you have a plc module for uh, extension of the extra module it can be a analog module or a digital module for the extension purpose we will be using this ribbon cables mostly for the plc cards alarm monitoring cards navigation equipments we might be using this ribbon cables how to read a marine cable type under symbol say for example here given a example here say for example the first one represent a cable 0.6 slash 1 kva fr dash fa dash tpy cy here the 0.6 slash 1 kva refers the voltage and fr is the fire resistance it should comply the standard of ie60331 next is fa is the fire retardant okay it should also comply the standard iec pub60332 dash 3 cat a standards T is the number of total number of cores. Next is the rubber insulation, PVC sheet. Then what sort of braid it is getting used, and what is the outer sheet? Okay, this is an one more example. Okay, where what is the voltage, and, uh, whether it is a fire resistance, and what is a whether it is a flame retardant. How many cores are there? Okay, this is here. It refers to the multiple number of cores, and what sort of sheet we are using? Okay, whether what sort of braid it is getting used, and what is the outer sheet area? So when we uh, look the uh, after voltage, we have so many uh, namings we, we are, when we are using for or naming the symbols that we are using for a marine cable type. One is the yes, the yes can be a single core. Okay, it can be a common shield or it can be individual shield or it can be a common screen or it can be individual screen or it can be a individual and a common screen. So it is a combination. It can be it can be combination of both. Next, why can be the outer sheet okay next is the c c is nothing but the what sort of braid we are using the braid can be a steel wired braid sometimes we can use copper alloy wire braid also so there it creates a difference with the symbol as a cb next is the pvc sheet even uh, pcb sheet also we can use okay next is the ep rubber or silicon rubbers we can use next and the foremost thing is that the total number of cores it can be a single core double core three core four core five core six core ten core even multiple cores are available in the industry. If it is for the telephonic application, the numerology might be different. And at last, the most important thing is that it should be a flame retardant or it should be a fire resistance. Similarly, we have so many examples available in the market. Okay, uh, So these are some of the examples we had uh, given here for your easy understanding. We have given an example of a 3 core cable with a 10 mm square normal section and one more example we have given which is a flame re uh, resisting and a double core with a 6 mm square size Next, this is an example which is also a flame retardant it is a multi core which has a 1 mm square nominal section area thank you so much please subscribe and press the bell icon if you want to know more and learn more you can contact us we have provided the contact details here we are providing PLC training for Siemens, Allen Brody and Delsa PLC. So once we learn this training, you have a very vast 
you know applications available in the industry so you will get a chance to work in the industrial automation home automation building automation okay building automation control system um, airports metro stations and you have a very good application to work in the ship automation industries also so you can contact us if you're really interested to work in the gcc countries then you can contact us we are providing a special training uh, for uh, building management system building automation control system if you had a plan to establish a dc light system using solar where uh, the EV power is not available then you can contact us and if you had ag agriculture funds you want to if you want to protect your crops from the animals which is get, uh, damaging those crops then you can go for electrical fencing so instead of electrical fencing in certain places you can use the solar fencing so we are providing solar fencing as a kit we are also providing solar on grid off grid hybrid and solar detailed solar and pop services and if you are planning for uh, to learn the basics of an electrical vehicle or a ship automation or access control system then you can contact us we had provided the contact details here thank you so much